Hello, welcome back to the Basics of Diag YouTube channel. Today we are looking at a glow plug issue on a 2012 Vauxhall Astra. Uh, it's the 2 litre CDTI engine. And I'm just going to show you my technique when it comes to glow plug faults. Uh, this is the same technique I use across all glow plug issues I come across um, basically split it into two halves so we'll start with checking the fault cord I'm using the the top don top scan uh, it's a little Bluetooth dongle that connects to a phone it's app based so we're gonna go in see what's happening so I'm already I've already identified the vehicle I think I've already gone into engine control module as well but engine control module diagnostic trouble codes and then DTC display and you'll see we get the code P0674, which is cylinder floor, cylinder floor, <coughs> cylinder floor glow plug control circuit malfunction. Now, like I said, I split this kind of issue into two halves. So I will check glow plugs first using a test light. Um, if the glow plugs aren't easily accessible, I will maybe find a connector uh, for the harness that is accessible, or test at the glow plug relay, unplug the glow plug relay, and then test the wire from that relay to the glow plugs, and then obviously through cylinder head and engine earth. Um, if that well the glow plugs is your most likely cause um, anything after that is going to be vehicle specific um, nowadays you've not just got a glow plug relay it's a control module so you will need to look at a wiring diagram make sure the relay or the control module has got its powers its grounds you may have a LIN communication wire I know an old 3 series, I say old, an 09 plate, 320D 3 series I had, had a LIN signal to the glow plug module, um, I'm not sure what this has, I might, well I'll put a wiring diagram up, um, but obviously I like to do a quick quick yes or no test really to, to confirm if the glow plugs are at fault if they aren't at fault then we will move on look at the wiring diagram check powers grounds communication wires to the mo module um, if we do find a glow plug is the fault then that's usually the end of it um, I mean out of thoroughness you should probably check or your wiring to the module anyway. Um, what I think we can do is, if I go into control functions, there is an option to activate the glow plugs. Um, so I could put my current clamp around each of the glow plug wires and see whether they're all drawing the same amount of current I would imagine cylinder 4 isn't because um, we have a fault code for it so that's enough talking I'm going to pop the bonnet now and see what accessibility we've got right so the first thing I'm actually going to do 
is command these glow plugs to activate using this top down top scan and I'm going to measure current flow on each wire these are pretty accessible so for the time it's going to take to do this be a no-brainer not to do it just need to zero the clamp and then we'll click on hook this round and we've got about three and a half amps on cylinder one three and a half amps cylinder three less than an amp less than half an amp on cylinder four can I get in cylinder two not really come on I think I've been timed out now which we might have to try that again and there we are three and a half amps on cylinder two so cylinder four is definitely our issue just like the fault code suggested so there is only two things that can affect the current flow in a circuit and that's resistance or voltage either resistance has increased or the voltage has decreased um, it's easier To check resistance, you could use your multimeter if you really wanted. Um, just compare all four glow plug resistance readings. I prefer to introduce another load into the circuit. This is just a 501 bulb in the end of here. Uh, and I think I checked the current flow. This will draw 350 milliamps at 12 volts. Uh, and as we saw, that circuit was drawing well over 3 amps. I had the amp clamp set to 100 millivolts is an amp. And we were drawing over 300 millivolts, so we're over 3 amps. This isn't going to damage the glow plug circuit. Um, this has a voltage display in. I'll show you why that is handy as well. So let's break into the circuit somewhere and test you right, so where you test at is going to depend on the vehicle you're working on these glow plugs aren't actually that hard to get to um, but there's a loom here that I could unplug test there if these weren't accessible if this wasn't accessible the glow plug relay is here or the glow plug control module I could unplug it test it here see whether the fault lies between here and the glow plug. We know the engine earth has got to be okay, otherwise these three glow plugs wouldn't be working because they share the same earth. It wouldn't just be this one that's at fault. So I'm gonna unplug here. And test in here now. We know it draws three amps. We know there's four pins. I think the f two pins on each side of this multi-plug are for our glow plugs. <clears throat> so my test light is on battery positive because we are trying to find a path to earth through these glow plugs at this cylinder head. And obviously test the tool. 12.4 volts and I'm just going to go along each of these pins oh, try and get my fat fingers out of the way and I think that first pin I've tried there is our faulty one it's only 5.5 volts bulbs barely lit if I try the pin above you see we get full system voltage the bulbs quite bright try this bottom left one same again 
bright bulb, full voltage, top right or top left, bright bulb, full voltage. So we know the fault is somewhere between this and the glow plug. So obviously the next step is to test the glow plug. Right, plug removed from glow plug and then test light just in there and we still get five and a half volts. This glow plug is faulty. You might notice it's a bit different to a standard glow plug. That's because each of these has a pressure sensor built into it. They're about 120 pounds each, which is why this is only getting one this time around. I think you might see this one looks newer than the rest. That one was done maybe 12 months ago, 11 months ago. So yeah, glow plug in it and it'll be sorted. If I had a top tip for you when changing these, just make sure the engine is stinking hot. You can see that's not been doing anything. It's all covered in soot. I like to cut a new glow plug in grease. This is a ceramic brick grease. It's got to be better than not putting any on, hasn't it? That's the theory anyway. And then they don't need to be tight. There will be a torque setting, but just a little nip with a quarter drive. And then, crucially, double check to see if it's fixed. Look at that. Bulb is bright. We've got 12 and a half volts. So there we are. That is this video done. All that's left is to just plug that glow plug back in, clear the faults, and yeah, that is that. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you next time.